Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, we will create an API or postcard in Spring Boot. So let's get started. You can see here the Spring Boot application. First of all, I'm going to create here a new entity for the car. So let's create here the class. So here I'm going to add the annotation that is a add the right entity to make this class as a table in our database. And second annotation, I'm going to add here add the right data. And the third annotation, I'm going to add here at the right table and here i'm going to define the name of the table and it will be a class so here i'm going to add the first property that is a id long and i'm going to make this property as a primary key of this table and in the second addition i'm going to add here at the rate generated value and it will be a strategy generation type dot identity So second property I'm going to add here that is a private string brand private string color private string name private string type private string transmission private description private long price and second last that is a private date and the year over here because we need to save the model of the car let me import this date from java.edu and the last property we need to add here that is a private byte and the image over here of the car so let's go to our details package and here i'm going to create a new class that is a car dto so let me add a annotation that is a at the rate data so here i'm going to add all these properties and on the last i'm going to add here that is a private multi part file and the name of the variable that is a return image let's go to our car entity and here on this property i'm going to add here the annotation that is a at the rate column and here i'm going to add the column definition that is a long below so let's go to our services package and here i'm going to create a new package for the admin And here I'm going to create a new interface and it will be a admin service. Let's create here the class that is a admin service symbol. So we need to implement this class with our admin service interface. On the top, I'm going to add the annotation that is a add the red service to make this class as a service in our Spring Boot application. So let's go to our repositories package and here I'm going to create a new interface for the car entity and it will be a car repository. So we need to extend this with JP repository and here we need to give our car entity and the second we need to pass here that is a data type of our primary key that is a long let me add here the annotation that is a at the rate repository to make this interface so here in the admin service i'm going to inject our car repository and here i'm going to add the annotation that is a required args constructor and it will be a private final car repository so let's go to our admin service and here i'm going to create a method post car and in the argument it will receive car dto now let's go to our admin service impl and here i'm going to implement this method so in this method i'm going to create a new object of the car to create the new car in the database so it will be a new car and here we need to set name and we'll get name from car dto dot get name car dot set 
brand and we will get brand from rdto.get brand r.set color and we will get color from rdto.get color so after that we need to set here that is the price and we'll get price from rdto.get price dot set here and we'll get here from cardto.get here or dot set type and we'll get type from cardto.get type or dot set description and here we need to set description and we'll get description from cardto.get description R dot set transmission and we will get transmission from R DTO dot get transmission and after that we need to set here R dot set image and we will get image from R DTO dot get image dot get bytes. So let me check what is the issue why we are not getting the get bytes. Let's go to our R DTO dot get image. Okay, so I have added here the wrong data type with this property. So here we need to add private multi-part file and the image over here. And on this returned image property, we need to add here byte and the braces over here. Now we need to add the exception to the method signature. So let me add this. Okay, so after that, we need to call here car repository dot save method. And here we need to pass our car object, save the new car into our database. And here we need to return to on the top. I'm going to add here the try. And after that, let me cut all this code and shift into the try block. So after that, I'm going to add here. A catch and here we need to get the exception in this we need to return here false otherwise we need to return here true if our car posted successfully so let's go to our admin service and you can see so let's go to our controllers package and here I'm going to create a new controller for the admin. So let me add here the name like admin controller. So let's make this class as a controller in our application. So here I'm going to add the annotation that is a add the rate rest controller. Second annotation I'm going to add here add the rate request mapping and here I'm going to add the slash API slash admin and the third addition I'm going to add here at the rate required ARGS constructor first of all here I'm going to inject our admin service so after that I'm going to create a method and it will be a public response entity over here and here I'm going to add the question mark and after that we need to add here the method name that is a post part so in the argument i'm going to add here the annotation that is a model attribute and we need to get the car details so here i'm going to get car video so after that we need to call here a method from our admin service that is a post car and here we need to pass car detail object so let me add the exception to the method signature and here i'm going to add boolean and the success over here and after that we need to check that is a if success then we need to return response entity dot status that is a http status dot created dot build otherwise we need to send here response entity dot 
status that is a http status dot that request dot build so here i'm going to add the annotation that is a at the rate post mapping and the url of this api that is a slash car so let's run the application And you can see application is started and you can see the console that is a create table cars with these properties that is the id brand color description price name transmission type year that's all for now from my side in the next video we will call this api from angular i hope you like this video if you haven't get vision you can do comment and also subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon thanks for watching take care bye